Welcome to another edition of I Am Most Sports with Pedro Justice, King Tug, Chris Colbert. It just went down. Now, Chris Colbert had a bull's eye on his back tonight. First question, were you impressed? He did get a 12-round unanimous decision. It was no doubt that he won the fight, but he mainly won the fight with his jab. Jab, 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 maneuver, maneuver, backpedal, backpedal, jab, 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 backpedal, backpedal. And so King Tug at 126 on short notice came up and went 12 rounds with Chris Colbert, who got on the scale and was just 0.6 pounds over the weight limit. So that was one strike. So that let me know, could this actually go to a decision? Now, I know Chris said that he was going to get a knockout in the 10th round. It didn't happen, and it didn't look like he was trying to get a knockout. It looks as though the few times that King Tug hit him, he didn't like it because in that 11th, 12th round, he was backpedaling. He was looking like Oscar De La Hoya against Felix Trinidad. Like, I didn't like it. It didn't look good. The optics did not look good. That's what Andre Ward says, right? The optics did not look good. So to say those things, the reason people got mad because they felt it was personal against Deontay Wilder, your opinion, you say those things, everybody that's on your side riding for you, now all eyes on you. And tonight's performance, did it live up to having those people watch you? Where casual fans watch this and say, hey, I want to see another Chris Cooper fight. That's what the bullseye does. It makes it to where now you can't just be a good boxer that just jab, jab, and, and backpedal, backpedal, jab, jab, backpedal, backpedal. Because it looks as though this smaller guy came up on one week's notice, had you backpedaling, and so that didn't look good. Now, I don't have anything personal against Chris Colbert. I felt that he was going to win the fight. I didn't realize how much bigger he was than uh, Nyambiar. I had no idea how much bigger he was. But I don't feel that, I feel that, Whatever few shots he got hit with, he didn't like it, and he didn't want to risk getting hurt. And so he was in survival mode, even though he's the better boxer, more skilled, more talented, faster. Let me know, were you impressed with this victory by Chris Colbert, or do you think that he didn't live up to the hype? Let me know what you think until next time. It's Pedro Justice.